hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video uh, we will create a level clear we will add a level clear functionality in our game so as you can see in the game when we drop our chickens in the home now we don't have any chicken in the scene so our level should be cleared and there should be a window uh, or dialogue to uh, let us know that our level has been cleared and we can move to next level so uh, there are two ways to do that uh, first thing uh, that we can do is we can create uh, another script in the scene and in there we can constantly check for uh, the uh, chicken counts in our scene but this will uh, create overhead and because uh, checking it uh, 50 times a second is very expensive operation and uh, so the second option is to uh, check whenever we drop chicken in our home so that's why we can uh, minimize the overhead now uh, to do that uh, i'm going to open my player script and uh, in the on trigger enter 2d function now this is the code where we are dropping our chickens into the home so we are checking if tag is home then we are simply uh, doing all the operations that have to be done there so uh, in here what i can do is i can simply destroy the chicken but that's not a good idea why because when we drop our chicken the chicken will move from there to out of the screen so we don't want to destroy the chicken immediately we want it to uh, run a little bit and then destroy our chicken so uh, to do that uh, we can create a coroutine here so uh, outside this on trigger function i am going to create a coroutine chicken destroy like that and i am going to simply say yield return new wait for seconds and we will wait for one second and then we will destroy our chicken now uh, if you don't know about coroutines so i'm going to briefly explain this so we use a coroutine when we want to add a delay in our code so the code you put here will be executed immediately after you call this coroutine now after that it is going to uh, in the program will wait for one second and then this rest of the code will be executed now uh, we are going to uh, need a reference to our game object that we want to destroy so i am simply going to take a reference here and i am going to call this coroutine right here now chicken destroy and i am going to put this chicken reference in here now now after that uh, after calling this coroutine we are going to wait for one second and then we are going to destroy the chicken and then we will check for any chicken left in the scene so simply what we can do is we can create int chicken count and game object dot find game objects with tag and let's say chicken now now to uh, find how many chickens are left in the scene we will simply use this code so this will actually find all the game objects that have the tag called chicken so uh, you should uh, tag your chickens with the chicken tag so if i select this you will see that we have a tag called chicken so make sure that uh, both of these chicken game objects have the same chicken tag now this is going to return an array and we are going to take the length of that array 
so if the length is 0 we know that there is no chicken left in the scene if not then there is still chickens in the scene so we will simply put if chicken count is equal to 0 what that means is our level is cleared so we will simply print a message level cleared now save this and let's go back to our editor and play the game <clears throat> now let's pick up the chickens and drop them in the home same here now we are not getting any messages why there is actually nothing wrong with our code the problem is right here now if you see that the destroy function is going to destroy the object from our memory so it is going to you call the garbage collector to remove the allocation memory allocations for this object from our memory but this garbage collection collector operation is very expensive so it is still in uh, destroying uh, uh, it is still uh, when the garbage collector starts destroying this code will be executed now because the chicken is in the destruction process it is not completely uh, destroyed by garbage collector we will still get the count equals to one why because this is not completely destroyed yet so we can fix it by doing a less expensive operation which is chicken dot set active and set it to false now when you uh, disable any object it is uh, uh, going to disable it immediately and when uh, the when you find the game objects with tag it will not find it cannot find the disabled object so uh, we don't now have to wait for garbage collector to destroy the references we can simply set active uh, put the set active to false now uh, save this and let's go back to unity and let it compile and play the game now you can see that we have a message here called level clear now in the next video we will create a small dialogue a small animated window to uh, show user that level has been cleared so now if you like the video kindly hit the like button and if you have any questions regarding this you can ask me in the comments